Welcome back to No Fear Equity. In the last two lessons, we joined veteran startup attorney Mike LaPlante from Perkins Coie as he took us through the beginnings of a Series A term sheet. In this lesson, we'll get our hands dirty and break down the main investor agreements that you'll typically see in a term sheet. We'll start with the first two, the stock purchase agreements and investor rights. So without further ado, let's get into it. There are five primary agreements that are going to enter into in every single preferred stock financing. And this term sheet breaks them down one at a time. The first one is the stock purchase agreement. It's just the, the agreement where they buy the shares. There's not a ton of information here. There's not there's nothing really to negotiate. The one thing I want to point out is that a lot of people are surprised to find out that they have to pay their investors legal fees in association with the round. It's just sort of the way things are done. They're giving you the money. You've got to turn around and give some of it back to them to pay their legal costs. We've got a number of 35000 in here for investor side fees. That's pretty standard for a Series A. The next agreement we want to talk about is the Investor's Rights Agreement. This is a really long document that's got a ton of rights that the investors have, very few of which are ever going to be relevant to you. But we'll go through just in really quick sort of bullet points what's included in the Investor's Rights Agreement. And we'll pause on one or two just to give you an idea of how they might affect you. So one of the things that the investor's rights agreement is going to do is it's going to set a threshold of something that's called a major investor. There are special set of rights that are set out in this investor's rights agreement that are reserved for these major investors. You want to set that threshold somewhat higher so that only you know your top two or three investors in the round are getting these rights. That threshold can be as low as like $500,000. So investors that have invested 500, depending on the round and the size of the round. And the two key sets of rights that major investors are gonna get, information rights and participation. Information rights are exactly what they sound like. They are rights to information about the company that's usually restricted to financial information. You have an obligation usually to deliver your monthly financial statements, your annual financial statements, a cap table, and an annual budget. All your major investors are gonna have a right to that stuff. That's one of the reasons you kinda wanna set that threshold as high as you can, because you don't wanna be sharing all that information with every single person on your cap. The second thing you want to be aware of for major investors is participation rights. Having raised money on safes, a lot of you are probably familiar with pro rata rights. A lot of your angels and seed investors are asking for pro rata rights in your rounds. All major investors under your investor rights agreement are going to get these pro rata rights in every future round. Not just this one, but every future round, you're going to have to go to these folks and ask if they want to participate in your future rounds. There's some little levers you can pull in negotiating this, but particularly your lead investor who's going to be the one delivering the term sheet, they're going to insist on information and pro rata rights. The rest of the stuff you're going to see in the investor's rights agreement, there's things like registration rights, which really are pretty irrelevant. They're almost a relic of a prior time when, when lots more companies were going public. There's a possibility that you might see something in this section where there are an, an extended list of actions that the company can't take without your investor director's approval. We try to eliminate that section when we negotiate our Series A term sheets. Okay, so there you have it. Now that we've broken down the investor rights, in the next lesson, we'll join back up with Mike as he talks about the two most important agreements in the entire term sheet, the right of first refusal and the voting agreement. As always, thanks for watching No Fear Equity. We hope you found it helpful and we'll see you on the next one.